Introduction Wow! A greenery all around! I enjoy this in the village. Mm. But that land is vacant. Why is it so dark? Sahil, that land is no more fertile. But long before, different types of crops used to grow over there. Hmm, then how the land becomes infertile? Due to soil erosion, my son. Soil erosion? What is that, Dad? Children, soil erosion is one of the major environmental problems in today's world. Come along to know more about it in this lesson. Soil erosion and conservation. Objectives At the end of this lesson, You'll be able to define soil erosion, list the factors responsible for soil erosion, explain the effects of soil erosion on environment, discuss the preventive measures for the control of soil erosion. It is everywhere. We walk on it, we drive on it, and we grow plants on it and so on. Wondering what is it? It is soil. Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth's surface. It consists of a mixture of rock, finely ground into powder, water, air, minerals and a variety of living and dead life forms. It serves as a natural medium for growth of plants. Most soils contain four basic components, water, air, mineral particles, and organic matter. But the fertility of soil has decreased significantly. This is mainly because of soil erosion. Come, let us learn about it. The natural removal of soil by the action of water or wind is called soil erosion. Look at the images. The disappearances of topmost surface and large ditches in the ground are the signs of soil erosion. Friends, come let us know the factors which causes soil erosion. The most common factors are water and wind movements. Water flowing through ground carries away soil with it. During rain, the soil particles are detached by raindrops. These soil particles are carried away by the running water. Floods are also the main cause behind the soil erosion. The other agent responsible for soil erosion is the wind. Wind picks up the finer soil particles and takes it to the other location. During storms the heavy wind takes away the bigger soil particles to a distant place and that causes soil erosion. Though soil erosion is in itself a naturally occurring process but in many cases increased by human activities. Some of these include deforestation, overgrazing by animals, improper or excess amount of farming practices, trail building, overuse of chemical fertilizers, housing construction, mining, etc. Soil erosion leads to many unfavorable conditions. It results in the loss of soil and breakdown of the soil structure. It decreases the soil fertility due to decrease in the amount of organic matter. It also reduces the moisture content of soil resulting in drought condition. Decrease in soil fertility leads to decrease in the quality and quantity of the crops. Thus, soil erosion affects the natural vegetation badly which leads to transfer of fertile land into a desert. Due to soil erosion, the soil shifts and accumulates on the roads and streets. This blocks the driving and results in accidents. It also blocks many irrigation canals. It increases the risk of flooding. The eroded soil deposits in water resources like river, lake, etc. and pollute them. Soil erosion is a major environmental problem. It has affected all over the world from forests to deserts. Thus, it's the need of the hour to conserve the soil by preventing the soil erosion. There are many ways of preventing soil erosion. One of the most common ways is to grow more and more trees. The roots of trees hold the soil firmly 
and do not allow it to wash away easily. Trees planted across the wind direction protect soil against the high velocity winds. Controlling overgrazing of the land by animals also controls the soil erosion. Building dams control soil loss. Some modern techniques of farming need to be practiced. For example, different types of crops should be grown at different times on the same land. Different types of crops should be grown in the alternate rows in the same land. These practices control the loss of soil and increase the fertility of soil. Remember friends, soil is a precious natural resource and it is our duty to conserve it for keeping the environment healthy. Click on the words given in column A and then click on the units given in column B for a perfect match. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Soil is the uppermost layer of the earth's surface. The natural removal of soil by the action of water or wind is called soil erosion. Water and wind movements along with human activities are responsible for soil erosion. Soil erosion decreases the fertility of soil and affects the natural vegetation badly. Growing large number of trees and practicing modern techniques of farming can control soil erosion.